Right, so we're just going to have a look at amp draw. Uh, many of the receivers uh, that you have these days, especially the Dell 10 units like this, actually have uh, brushed ESCs on board and they've all got an amp rating. This one happens to be two amps. Uh, that's a DTRX, uh, was it 34? Okay, and uh, you can see here it's got a, a two amp. Okay, a two amp brushed ESC. It's actually got dual ESCs on board. Okay, so just have a look at it. All right, so here's your ESC, your effects down the bottom here, and they're the brushed ESCs. Okay, you've got one there and one there. So they're both rated at two amps. All right, so what we need to work out is if our prop and motor combination is going to pull more than two amps. Now to do that, we need a, a wire set up like this with our multimeter, just a simple multimeter. And uh, you can see what I've actually done here is I've made a break in the line. It's simply the, the positive line. I've put a break and putting it through the multimeter. Okay, one important thing. Um, we know that a motor like this should pull less than 10 amps. It's definitely more than 200 milliamps. So I'm using the common and the 10 amp side. Now most multimeters will have a, a 10 amp and they'll have fused and they'll have a 200 milliamps. So we're using the 10 amp and accordingly we're going to set it to 10 amps. Okay, I'll just um, just flip over and have a look at the diagram. Okay, here's the diagram, very simple. Basically the red line, we're just putting a break in the red line and sending it through the multimeter and on the 10 amp side. And that's what we're doing there. Okay, so we'll see how this all works. Um, I've set up a harness like this because I do it quite often. So I've set up a harness where I can solder uh, the motors on here. And we'll just need to, to put set the motor somewhere very secure. Okay, you might want to use a vise or something like that. I'm just using some, some uh, blue tack here because I know it's going to hold it. Okay, so we've, we've got that there. Uh, we're do, just going to power it with the battery straight through here. And the multimeter is in line in the uh, in the positive side, and we'll see what the reading is. Now uh, this is an eight millimeter motor, and uh, it's the on the website here. We'll just have a look. Now uh, this is an eight millimeter motor, so it's one of the more powerful motors, and it's uh, this one here with the two point four ohm resistance. So we're going to try that with the um, the tri turbo fan prop, this prop here, and we'll see what it draws. Okay, so connecting the battery. Right, and we can see it sort of settles down to about 1.6, 1.7 amps. Okay, so based on that, we can see that uh, that motor prop combination would be quite okay with this receiver. It pulls under the under the two amps uh, that that's recommended. And uh, that's how you that's how you test your motors with uh, a simple multimeter uh, to check how many amps it's going to draw.